What's up guys? Because I can gaming and welcome back to another video. Happy Christmas Eve for most people are checking this out. And if you're checking this out tomorrow, shout out for Christmas actually. So I do appreciate you guys stopping in and checking it out. Now before we get going, like always, shout out to my sponsor. Check them out for cheap Horizon 4 credits. Fast delivery, it's cheap. The only thing you could ask for is a discount code and actually I can hook you up with that because I can as a discount code. They're up on the screen. Now, if you're new to the channel, let's just get this away right now. We give away 11 million credits every week. Actually, we give away 22 million credits every week. 11 million credits, new subscribers, or a subscriber that leaves a comment on the weekly video, which just means any video from Monday to Monday. We do a giveaway every week, 11 million credits. Second one is the weekly challenge. Right now, the top speed is like 82 miles per hour in a speed zone, my car, my tune. The winner at Saturday wins 11 million credits. So check them out. I will link the speed zone at the end of the video for you guys. Now, without further ado, what should we do today? I figured today would be a good day to go over some things that some people might not know and some people might know. So if you know this, shout out to you for knowing it. If you don't know it, stick around, hit that like button and leave a comment. And tell me you knew it or you didn't know it. So what I'm going to show you today is a lot of things I see that doesn't happen. First thing. I'm going to show you when it pops up here. Let's just do this together. So a lot of people always ask me, how do people sell their cars? Oh God, I almost auctioned off my car. That would not be a good idea. Um, a lot of people ask me, how do you auction off your car for $20 million? Now, you know, some people can do it. Some people can't. There's a reason for that. You have to be a legendary painter or tuner to auction off your car for $20 million. So if I go to Nissan and I go to um, 2002 GTR, You'll see that some cars are on here for $20 million. Boom. You will notice, so we'll do this right now. And this is what we're going to do about today's video. I'm going to show you how to make money off the auction house. Everyone says that. No one shows you the rare cars. Oh, God, I almost missed out on something. Oh, $2 million. Should I buy it for two? It's worth way more. Let's check that out. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, I actually went in here. So you'll see the Nissan that we checked out. I bought one for 60000 I bought another one for 674000 I bought another one a little farther down for 35000 35000 and they're selling for $20 million, 11 to $20 million. That's a very broad, broad range. You'll see that the Jeep Cherokees, they sell for a lot. The Area Autumn sell for a lot. So I'm going to show you what cars are rare. Now, you might not have legendary, so you might not be able to sell it for $20 million. I understand that. But if you go on Facebook and uh, you check out some people or some groups, they will buy other cars from you to make the $20 million. So that's one way to look at it too, guys. So you you know take a GT40, post it for $11 million, and then make them buy that car before you sell them the cheap car. You know, people do it all the time. So another rare car, just in case you guys get it, I think I threw mine away by accident, is a TTRS. Come up, nothing on auction house. Doesn't surprise me. A lot of these cars I'm showing you and telling you that are rare are probably not even going to show up in the auction house because they get sold instantly. Cadillac limo. See, $20 million means it's a rare car. That's another thing. So if you can get one for 35000 I own 10 of them, by the way, because I, I take my time and I find them when they're on and I snipe them. Um, so you go there. Next one would be Chevy. Chevy has a couple rare cars. The ZR2 Colorado is rare. It's hard to find those, actually. I've not found one yet, and I really want one really bad for myself. Another rare car when it comes to Chevy is the, where is it? The pre-order pre -order Camaro was one. The 79 Camaro was another. And the Monte Carlo. I knew there'd be no Monte Carlos. I was hoping, though. Another car. We scroll down a little farther. These cars I'm showing you are new wheel spin cars. Cars you gotta get through the game by winning a certain challenge. So a lot of people don't get them and there's no more after that. So the demon, boom, 20 million. I think I got six of these right now. So that's another rare car. But people that don't know that will put them up for 40, 50 grand, buy it out, and then they'll get auctioned off like instantly and then resold for a higher price. Now, a lot of people will tell you to go through this and find, uh, you know, buy a Ferrari that is cheap. So let's see here. If I go Ferrari. Um, and I scroll down to um, Ferrari, love Ferrari. Let's go there, for example. Let me scroll through. Um, boom, did I miss it? 
Uh, here we go. So if I go to here, let's check these out. Now some people will tell you, okay, they're selling for a max of 1.7. They'll tell you to scroll through until you find one for like, you know, 600,000, 200,000 and you try to buy it out. Now you see all these are all sticking around the same price. You might get lucky and find one a little cheaper by the looks of it. I don't think you're going to get lucky. I don't like that option. You're, you spend too much time searching the auction. I like to buy the rare cars that people don't know is rare. So another one would go to Ford. Um, you have the Crown Vic. That's super rare. Um, you got the Mustang, which is the, the 93 Mustang. That's another rare car for Ford. You go to Jeep. Um, let's scroll through here. Um, uh, Honda. We'll go to Honda. The 04 Civic is rare. You see, $20 million each goes to show you. Um, I bought one for like 40000 um, another rare car would be the 2005 NSX. So it might take you a little bit of time, but once you start getting on it, it's well worth it. Um, you know, a lot of people don't know about these rare cars. So the 05 NSX, see, 20 million, 20 million. Um, these are all cars that I'll show you in my garage that I have myself by just going down the auction house and I can show you my auction notices that I didn't pay much for because people don't realize. A couple of the uh, Hoonigan cars are cheap as well. So like the Gymkhana 10s, the Hoonicorn, you know, um, I stay away from them. Hot Wheels, those are worth a lot of money, either one of them, not on the auction house right now. So the Bone Shaker and the Twin Mill. You scroll down a little farther. Um, let's see here. I do appreciate you guys stopping in and checking us out, by the way, as I do this. Um, so Jeep. So the 2014 is rare. See, 20 million. I got quite a few of those as well. And I only paid like 60 grand each for those. So if you guys take your time and you know which cars are rare, you'll be able to pick them up and sell them for a lot more money than, you know, buying a, a $50,000 car and selling it for 150,000. Like, you know, you're making a little money, but you're not making a lot. There's a Lotus that's rare as well. The Mercedes-Benz E63 is rare. Um, the Mini 2012. Wild is rare if you can find any. See, 20 million. Um, there's a lot of rare cars that just takes time to know which ones are rare. So make sure you're not just selling off random cars that you don't know. 2010 Volkswagen Beetle is rare. Let's check this bad boy out. Not on the auction house. They go for 20 grand. 2004 Subaru. Super rare as well. So right there. Didn't think I'd find any of those either. Um, any pre-order car is super rare. The taxi. I never did show you guys the taxi. Which is the Austin taxi. No, oh, maybe I did show you. 20 million. So keep that in mind. I just shared some rare cars with you guys. Make sure you're looking for them. Another way people also say is, you know, go to Saline. Let's check out uh, the Saline S7. Let's see if there's any of those on there right now. Okay, so... You know, none of these are actually going for a lot of money. So, but 427 is a max buyout. This one's up there for 213, 213. So, I could buy the one for 213 and put it up for four and make some money. That's one way to do it. I have 500 and some odd cars. I myself don't want that route. So, um, maybe you pick a, a Lambo. Lambos are rare. The 2016 Aventador is really rare, actually. Um, so, if I go to Lambo. And the Hummer's rare. The Hummer is one that people tend to sell for some reason. I don't see $20 million. I like to, definitely do like the uh, number three on the side, the black. It looks sharp. So I'll scroll through one more time real quickly. So, you know, you can buy rare cars that way or non rare cars if they're selling them cheap. It just takes time to be in the auction house. So keep that in mind. Um, Ferrari. Um, what would be a popular Ferrari right now? The 458S is popular. Let's see what they go for. Oh, they're really not that popular. Buyout's 400 grand. So you want something around a million. So the Bugatti would be one. Um, let's check out some Bugatti. Um, where are you? Here we are. Let's see here. So 2.2, 2.2. So you just scroll down and see if you can find one for like a mil. Buy it for a mil, sell it for two. So there's one for 1.8. That was an older one. So, you know, there's one for six. The you know, so you just take your time working the auction. Some people can do it that way. I prefer buying the super rare cars and selling them for more on Facebook. 
Um, if that interests you, maybe I'll start a Facebook page because I can gaming. Leave a comment. Let me know if that is something you guys want to see what's rare, what's new giveaways on Facebook. I think that might be a good idea. Are we big enough yet to get a Facebook page? That is something I want to know. Oh, another rare car is a 2005 M3. I knew there wouldn't be any, but so all you gotta do guys is take your time and go through it. If you're trying to buy a car that comes up that's rare, they usually sell pretty quickly. So there's a couple ways to do it. When you get to it, you're gonna hit Y over top of it, which will bring up this page. You're gonna hit down one and you're gonna hit X to buy it out. That way it doesn't have to load it up. If you have to load it up, nine times out of 10, you will lose it because the other guy is not loading the page and is doing it the way I just told you. So you basically you hit Y over top of it, push down once, hit X to buy now, and X again to confirm, and nine times out of 10, you will win that car. So it's something for you guys to keep in mind. Another Ford that's rare is a 69 Mustang on top of the pre-order cars. If you scroll through here, um, Forza definitely needs to find a better way to search stuff. So there you go, $20 million. So, you know, there's tons of rare cars, guys. If you want to play the auction house, that is what I would do. Leave a comment if that's something that interests you. If you want to see more of me talking about what cars are rare, because I don't mind sharing them. Um, you know, you don't know unless someone tells you. So if you didn't know, shout out to you. If you didn't know, you know, shout out to you as well. Do appreciate you checking out the video. Like always, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And until next time, catch you later.